Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is kind of a, a, a new change for me. I'm, I've decided, I've been thinking about this for a number of weeks where I kept looking at my bookcase behind me with the fragrances and just thinking to myself, I feel like a change. I feel like I need a change. I need something new. Like I was looking at it and it was all old, like old Peter past kind of a lot of my fragrances that I enjoy the most that are my favorite I purchased five six seven eight years ago and I'm really not the same person I was eight years ago I'm I'm not the same person I was a year ago or two years ago I've, I've gone through a lot of changes in all aspects of my life to be honest recently especially in the last couple of years and when I look at the stuff, I, 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 it doesn't, I don't feel like it, I feel like I need to start fresh, like just get rid of the old and bring in something a bit different and new and kind of start again and uh, almost a feeling of not being attached, kind of letting go of things, letting go of the past. And I, I've, I kept looking at my bookcase, like I say, for a number of weeks of feeling like I need to do that. And so, to be honest, over the past year, I would say I have been privately just selling some of the bottles that I find that I didn't wear often enough where they were kind of collecting dust and I didn't feel like I was getting the full use out of them. I sold a lot of fragrances from my collection like that over the past year. And so my collection at its, at its peak was probably around 40 bottles. And then for the majority of the time, I'd, I'd got it reduced to between like 25, 30-ish kind of bottles. And I wanna kind of cull it back even further, but do something drastic in which I'm literally selling my favorite fragrances and starting again and just letting go of the old things. So, bit of a shift. We'll start with the obvious being Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Everyone knows that that's my first love my first fragrance that I fell in love with so I looked at that and I thought I'm gonna get rid of that start there <laughs> this one is sold already I told I was, I was speaking to Rich Mitch on whatsapp and I kind of told him my thoughts and he kind of understood and was like well I'll have your Tuscan leather Peter and he's like, <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> so Rich has PayPal'd me a little bit of money for that and I will be posting it him tomorrow so Tuscan Leather is gone, it's not in my collection anymore. This will go to Rich Mitch. Next up, another one of my old time favorites. This I, I talked about in my very first ever video on YouTube, Nasamato Pardon. This is a patchouli fragrance mixed with vanillin. Basically it's a patchouli vanilla kind of combo and with some kind of um, synthetic kind of amber woody molecules in there as well. But predominantly a patchouli kind of fragrance that's sweetened. And this one I've had probably um, around the same time I bought Tuscan Leather. This is, I think, a year before I started my YouTube channel. So however old this channel is, add another year on, that's how old this is. At a guess, seven, eight years old, um, probably eight. So this is eight years old. I, to be honest, I don't have the box for a lot of these. By the way, I'm selling these. These are going to be on eBay. So there's a there's a link if anyone wants to, if you if you fancy a partial, and um, put a bid in, you might win it. And. Um, but it's UK only. I can't ship these overseas. If you live even in Ireland, like if you're in Northern Ireland, I can't ship there because it has to go over water. <laughs> Mainland UK only. If you're in England or Scotland and you, you want any of these, um, link to eBay is below. You just need an eBay account, obviously. And they'll go for whatever they go for. I don't, I'm not bothered. Like they're going to be like 99p starting bid and it'll be whatever it is. So yeah, that one, that's going. Again, I've had it for, I, I would say eight years, I'd guess. I don't have a box for a lot of them because I just throw them in the bin after a while. <laughs> I didn't expect to sell it, to be honest. So no box, you're buying a bottle only, just so you know. 
but I'm getting rid of that one. I'm just letting go of the old. Another one of my absolute favorites uh, was Coco Blanc by House of Matriarch. Absolutely addictive vanilla sandalwood, slightly spicy, fantastic fragrance. And because it's my favorite, I want to get rid of it. And I'm hard to tell by the light. Here, there you go, I can see it there. So is this, that's below my finger, that's how much is still in it. So above that is empty. But when they come new, they're only filled to here. So I've not used that much. Um, that's the fill line. People think when they buy a mate shark, they think, oh my God, it's, it's half empty. And it's like, no, like it doesn't go over above that. The fill line is usually here. Um, in fact, I think it's lower. Is it to the gold bit? I can't remember. Somewhere around that region. It doesn't go up into this bit anyway. Although it's my favorite fragrance, I don't tend to wear vanilla very often, so I've not actually dug into it, considering I've had it quite a number of years. But if you like, if you want Coco Blanc, um, fantastic vanilla fragrance. Again, I don't have the box for that. I lobbed it away ages ago. And so that one's for sale. One of my other favorites is Cape Heartache by Imaginary Authors. This is strawberry, pine, woody, cedar woody, um, good stuff. So I'm getting rid of that too. Uh, that's how much I have used over the, I don't know, five or six years that I've had it. I bought that from, not, not Bloom, it was a different website. I think the only, uh, I bought it from a UK distributor. I can't remember the name of them now. But anyway, that one, if you want it, it's on eBay. <laughs> uh, next up is another mate shark, Tuka, Tuka Tatao. This is, was uh, Imagine Scent Timmy's collaboration. Very good fragrance, but I don't wear it that often. It is a tropical, kind of a tropical fruity, floral, tropical floral, slightly sweet, vanilla-y, fruity, like tropical-esque. A very interesting fragrance. I just don't wear it that often. And I feel like because I don't wear it that often, it's better for someone else to enjoy it more. Looking at how much I've used, it is a, it's about there. Basically, I would say it's almost full. I don't think it's filled much more than that when, it, when you get it new. I've not worn it that often, only a couple of times, and I actually had a couple of bottles. I sold my backup bottle a while ago, I think, and so this is the only other bottle I have of it, um, but I want to I want to sell this one too. Uh, so if you want that one, I've got a full review on, I think, all of these, or most of them, if you want to check out reviews. Next up, I'm also going to sell my Kiehl's Vanilla and Cedar. This is lovely. And this is a unisex, very smooth, woody vanilla. Almost slightly powdery, but not powdery at the same time. It's very, very, very smooth, lovely, not too sweet. Like I say, woody vanilla. The, the, the name says it all, it's cedar and vanilla, but it's very good. And if you like vanilla, you might really enjoy it. I think it's discontinued. I don't think you can buy it anymore. I might be mistaken. Can't remember if I still got the box. I will rummage around for it before I list them on eBay and just check, but I, I don't remember if I kept it or not. Maybe not, probably. Uh, the next one, Bodice the Victorious, it's called Divine. I've only worn it once. I bought it, full transparency, I bought it from Harrods on a 50% off sale. I think it was in the region of 50 to 55 pounds I paid for it. I can't properly remember, it was a few years ago around 50 quid plus postage from Harrods. And so don't pay over, don't bid. If you're on eBay and you want it, don't bid over 50 quid because you just get it on a sale for the same price. So I'd imagine it will go somewhere like 30, 35, 40 quid at most. Just to let you know, don't, don't bid over what it's worth, being honest. Uh, this is nice. I just don't wear it. It literally smells of soap. It, if you like literal soap, <laughs> <laughs> You'll love it. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't wear it. I wore it once. And I was like, it's too soapy for me. It's, it's. I can't describe it in any other way apart from it's a nice, clean bar of like luxury, kind of more expensive smelling soap, basically. A little bit irisy. Irisy soap is what you're going to get with this. I do have the box for this. I kept it because I like the. I like the boxes. It's actually their box is what I modeled my box on. I kind of, I was like, I like that. I'm gonna make my box similar. So that's why I kept it. So this one does have the box. If you want to smell of soap, that's the one for you. I love the bottle, primarily why I bought it, because I thought the bottles are awesome. I, I love the bottles. But this particular fragrance is not for me, really. So 
If you want to smell of soap, you might get more use out of it than I do. The last one I want to sell is Salito Lindo by Rasse Fort. I blind bought it, I think from Switzerland or somewhere up, up there. And it's very good, I gave it a good review. It's kind of an ambery, it's almost like a watery amber. It's weird, it's, they had a tequila note in there. And you do get kind of a watery, fluid kind of ambergris, kind of mystical, not mystical, what's the word I'm looking for? Eth ethereal kind of vibe to it with this kind of spiced, sweet kind of amber thing going on at the same time as smelling watery. It's kind of unusual that way. And it's very cool. I liked it, but as you can tell from the dint, I've not picked it up that much. I've worn it a couple of times since I bought it. I'm just being brutal with my collection and just getting rid of a lot of stuff and wanting to start again. So this one, I don't feel like I'm going to get enough usage out of it. Someone else might get more from it. So I bought it brand new, full price, imported it. I had to pay import fees, actually 20% import fees on this thing, which was annoying. <laughs> This one does have the, the packaging. It came in a lovely wooden box with artwork on. I kept it because the box is cool. So that one does have the box. That's it, all of these, apart from Tuscan leather, which is already sold to Rich Mitch, are gonna be on eBay. I'll put this video up after I've listed them on eBay. So they'll all be up there now. The link is in the description. If you wanna, if you want to own any of these partial bottles, then, put in a bit if you want to, it's up to you, and they'll go for whatever they go for. And I'm gonna kind of start again, I've trimmed my collection right down, and like I said, I have been selling stuff privately for about a year, just getting rid of things that I felt like I, I, I wouldn't miss, or that I really like them artistically, but I find I just don't reach for them and wear them. A, a bit like this one, it's great, but I just don't find like I reach for it enough. And I don't want have to have things that just collect dust. I want to actually use them fairly regularly. So I have been trying to cut back, but for like I say, for the last few, well, probably the last few months, last few weeks, I've been really thinking about just getting rid of like my favorite fragrances and just <laughs> starting fresh and not being attached to things. And just a feeling of like out with the old, in with a couple of new things. So at the moment, my shelf there, I've counted, there's 12, I've cut it down to 12. Three bottles are almost empty. I've just finished my 30 mil Creed Aventus after seven or eight years I've had that and I literally just finished it yesterday. <laughs> so it takes me a while to get through bottles. I have a Matriarch Madrona, which is a lavender fragrance. That's almost empty, I've got like tiny little bit in the bottom corner that if I was to wear it regularly it would be gone in a week. Um, that one's almost gone. Pomelo Paradis, Italia Cologne, that's almost gone. I've got a little bit left when it comes to summer again. I'll burn through that easily this year. And White Vetiver by Abel, that's almost gone. I've got a little bit at the bottom. Again, that will go in this summer. I, I've i decided I'm not going to cling to things, as in when they run out, I will not replace them, no matter how much I like them. So even if I love them, I'm not going to buy them again. I'm going to use them and then let them go and be non-attached. That's my mindset going forward. So when those are gone, they're, they're gone. I'm not going to be buying them again. Um, but that goes for any fragrance. I've, I've made up my mind that way. And I want to keep my collection small, integrated, small, usable, where I actually use them because I don't see the point in fragrances collecting dust, I need to actually use them. For me, personally, I, I don't consider myself a collector. I don't have a, an addictive need to constantly collect fragrances. I don't have that in me, I, and I don't feel a massive need to buy loads more either. I have ordered three fragrances. I'm selling all these and I'm buying three, um, which are gonna be my newer kind of fragrances that are gonna replace some of these. When they come, I will do a video and let you just know kind of what I've purchased and maybe even run through my bookcase with you a new, so you can see what I have uh, left, what I've kept, what I've got rid of. 
and um, we'll probably do that in, in a couple of weeks time so that's it just to let you know that's just this is just something i feel like i need to do i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you soon very soon with some full reviews i've got my notes written for a couple of fragrances to do videos on so a couple more reviews uh, in the next coming uh, week or so and i'll see you soon take care everyone stay safe bye